Hello guys, we're back um, in um, the book of John um, at uh, point three uh, on the uh, religious spirit. And, and John chapter one, verse nine says that um, uh, that was the, no, I read from verse six. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came uh, for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. So John the Baptist was this guy who uh, went out and uh, before Jesus Christ came. So he was a witness of the light. He was living and said, actually, you can live holy. You can do what is right. So he was a witness that, okay, there's someone that is coming that is greater than I am. You know, John the Baptist was preaching repentance and he was making the way uh, clear for Jesus Christ to come. And I just want to say that before Jesus Christ can come in anybody's heart, there must be a brokenness. There must be a contrite spirit, a poor spirit, ready to receive him. You can't receive Jesus Christ if you're proud. You can't receive Jesus Christ if you have a religious spirit on you. You can receive him though if you are in the state as John the Baptist because the whole uh, reason for John the Baptist is to um, prepare the way and to bear witness of the Christ, the light. And so John the Baptist, uh, we need to study what John the Baptist had done. He was there and he was saying, repent, because the kingdom of heaven is of God is at hand. So he was telling the people, listen, get the way clear. If you have an art against someone, go and make it up. If you have hatred in your heart, cry and cry out to God for help. Make sure your heart is at a place of brokenness. Make sure your heart is at a repentant place place before the Christ come because he was the one that prepared the way for Christ and it says in verse 7 that the same came for a witness to be a witness of the light so he was being witness of the light that all men through him might believe and he said in verse 8 he was not that light but was sent to be a witness of that light you see John the Baptist wasn't one that was taking um, the glory. I remember many when they even sent um, the Pharisees and the scribes to, to John and said, um, wow. are you the one? John the Baptist said, no, I'm not the one. You know, there is one that is coming greater than I, who's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. He's greater than I do. And he said, you know, I'm not the one. So, you know, many times you can see that the religious spirit as well always want you to be in a position to take on power, to take on authority, and to allow you to take away the word of God for yourself, to promote yourself and to have accolade and to make you look as if you are somebody. But John the Baptist wasn't like that. He was this man that he rather goes into the wilderness and said, listen, I'm not looking for promotion. I'm not looking for uh, status. What I need to do is to be decreased so that the one that I'm a witness of is increased. And um, I remember in the same point as well where Jesus, um, I think it was before Jesus went to the woman of Samaria in St. John chapter 4, there was a, uh, um, there was some, um, you know, some talks about whether or not who baptized um, more disciples. And I found out that Jesus heard that um, they were um, discussing, disciples were discussing who baptized the most disciples. Even Jesus himself didn't baptize it. Mm -hmm. But Jesus went away from them and went to the Samaritan woman, to Samaria. So notice if it was a man, um, in the religious spirit. The religious spirit was said, of course, look at my ministry, it's bigger than yours. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> people um, have forsaken what it means to
do what God wants and mm-hmm. it made it into this is what I do and how I do it and how well I do it. But I'll just read up about John the Baptist because mm-hmm. you mentioned John the Baptist. So I'll read up about him being the way maker and about the repentance that John, the repentance that John was looking for from people as the forerunner of the Christ. And it says, this is um, Luke chapter 3. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of Ituria, and of the region of Trachonitis and Licinius, the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Cephas, being the high priests, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then he, that's John, said to the multitude that came forth to be baptised of him, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not good fruit, sorry, every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and saith unto them, He that hath two colts, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptised, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed unto you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do no violence to no man, or do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages." And as the people were in expectation, and all men knew in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh the latter of whose shoes I am not worthy um, to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his flow, and the and, he, and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. Amen. I know we're coming close. But yeah. what I wanted to say is that John preached a message of repentance and a message of change. And a message of repentance and change as being connected with Jesus Christ, with the Christ, the Messiah. Mm. And you see there, there was a high priest, Ananias and Caphias. There was a, a organized religion there was an organized um ministry but we see that the word of god came to john the baptist in, in, the, the, world, wilderness. in the wilderness now we will be um getting back to um fruit of repentance definitely and uh um how the high priest did not get the word of god in the establishment while john the baptist got it in the wilderness see you soon